Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you this template for managing your tasks. It's a very nice and easy to use template where you can basically have some details on the tasks that you want to manage, filter by special criteria, have your due dates, see the progress, and especially see the status for each each of these tasks, whether they're on time, any delays, etc., etc. So it's a very simple table. You have these columns. The orange ones are where you key in the data manually, and the blue ones are formulas that automatically show you the results. So for example, the first one is the task description where you just key in whatever task you want to track. Um, I put here examples from my professional world. I work in the supply chain area. So I just put some things here that are from my world, but this could be used to track, uh, you know, building a stadium, planning a, wed a wedding, you know, uh, recruitment, whatever you want, whatever you have, whatever you need to, to track your tasks, you can do it with this simple Excel file. So you have the description, you have a department, for example, and of course everything I put here is, is, is something that you can build whatever is best for your needs. So I have here the department that's relevant for the task, the priority, who is the requester of the tasks, and who is responsible to deliver this task, what's the start date, what's the due date, and what's the progress. For example, 85% is completed. Then there's the completed date, which should be left empty, and remarks. And you see that for completed date, once you key in something, the entire row is colored in gray, so visually it's easy for you to understand the position. Over here, there are four columns that are supposed to show you where you where you are, you know, versus what, where you want it to be. So for example, required progress shows you that this pro project started on the first day of November and should have been completed by the 10th. So by today, which is the 9th, you should have been at 89%. You're at 85%, so it's on schedule. Have one day remaining. <clears throat> and this is a range showing you what is the range between zero to five. Now, I'll show you how I done th these two. I've done them over here. I have two helping tables. One is for the status range and the description. So from my perspective, negative meaning days behind should be off track. If I'm 15%, uh, let's say, behind schedule, uh, it's late. If I'm up to negative 5%, I'm on schedule. And between negative 5%, uh, sorry, the, between minus 5% to 10%, I'm on schedule. More than 10%, I'm ahead of schedule. So you can change these numbers as you fee, see fit in the description, and the uh, grouping will work automatically. You can even add more, as long as it's uh, sorted uh, ascending. Same for days in the range. So from my perspective, anything negative is negative days, between 0 to 5, 5 to 10, and 10 plus. So that's how you control these uh, statuses and the days to completion. Um, so the color of the uh, of the uh, the cells turning gray is pretty simple. I'm using conditional formatting. Okay, and I have a rule: if i two, in this case, completed date is bigger than zero, one, or zero, and I have changed the format to fill it with a gray cell, and I just copied uh, the entire formatting to the table. And that's how it works. So if I add here that it's completed, it's going to color everything here in, um, in gray. OK? All right. And obviously, this should be 100%. And when I do that, you see that 
it becomes gray. Okay. Um, that's how you color the entire row. You just have to copy the, the formatting. For the columns, you just need to add conditional formatting again. And you see if for the entire column, if it's equal to a head of schedule, then it's this color. If it's equal to late, it's this color, etc. etc. So it's very simple with some conditional formatting, and you get a very clear picture of what your position is. Of course, you can apply a filter over here if you want to see just the lines that are off track. Okay, so you can see it here, or if you want to see only the ones that are negative days. Okay. So you can apply some formatting, some filtering, sorry, you can look at specific departments, etc., etc. So this is this is part one. And what's nice about the formulas here that you'll see in the, the beginning, there's some ifs that are supposed to show the formula or only if you have some information, otherwise it's blank. So that's why you see this line 14 is empty. And if I start keying in some data, a a a a a. Okay, uh, date. Okay, then this part is being filled. And once I clear out the data, okay, actually you just need the start date. So you don't need the start date to make those formulas appear. Okay, so that's also a nice feature that I added. So you can drag the formulas, you know, all the way down and not remember, you know, to drag it every time uh, you have a new task sheet. But it's very, um, it's very nice and friendly to use, okay? And what you see here, you have the, uh, in this case, I put a pivot table with responsible. Let me just show you. I have the, res the responsible column, the task description, and the status. And I have days to completion as the columns. And here I just pulled uh, priority, one of the columns, and added a count. I just, and I just erased, let me show you. I added priority to the counter and I didn't want it to appear here. So I went over here and I added a space because I can't leave it empty. And that's how you see uh, the numbers. So you get a very good look of, you know, where you stand all your tasks. Up here is where you see the percent. So 70 17% are done, 8% are negative days, 17% uh, are between zero to five. These are the days to complete it. And over here on the right, the slicers really give you the ability to focus. So for example, you want to see just the planning part. So you see them, they have 50% done, 50% between five to zero to five. You can look at the requester, okay, CEO. He asks for two tasks, one is as you can imagine, both are on schedule. Um, you can take a look just on the ones that are off track. You can select more or just show me what's late and off track. Okay, show me uh, priority. So just this just gives you an example of the way you built these columns can allow you to really easily filter or slice the information. So you get a very good, you know, very good quick a reflection of the information for whenever you want to analyze or present the data to anyone else. Okay, so that's it. It's pretty basic, but it's very useful. Um, and I think you would enjoy building it on your own. And if you're not, you can always um, leave a comment and I'll send over the, uh, the file itself, the template, so you always have that. If you enjoy the video, if you're still here, which is great, I'd appreciate if you could go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment, like, anything you can to support the channel. So I keep uh, posting videos. Thanks. Have a good one.